Friday so, Night Flies. Friday Night Flies with Scotty Holmes and Big Bad Brad and Sheridan with no boulder tonight. No boulder. No boulder. Boulder is out of the house. He's not here tonight. He's and uh, He's yeah. busy. He's a busy man. He's got things going on. You but are. um, next week, I'm sure Boulder will be back. Time patterns up. Sean Mooney, I'm sure he'll be here. Yeah, no, Sean. Sean, you already called once tonight. We can't wait to have you on the show with us. Join yeah. in, buddy. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, question and answer. You got question and answer open? Open that right this second. Okay, well, let's open that up. So, yeah, uh, Spud Valley Sporting Goods. I'm in the heart of Pemberton um, with... Uh, Pemberton Fish Finder. The Pemberton Fish Finder. Yeah. If you don't know who we are, you better check it out. PembertonFishFinder.com. Check out that website. That's Tons right. of things going on. Check out the new Friday Night Flies website because that is super cool. I yeah. spent I spent a couple hours on there checking it out. It's like it's yeah, it's, totally. it's so different than it was, right? Way better. Yeah, and you get to, and you get to go where you want to go. That's what I like, yeah. you know. Yeah, it flows. It's got some nice flow. Yeah. So check that out too. You know what? We'll do. We'll feature that one. But anyhow, what are you tying tonight? Tonight, I'll, I'll it, it, right okay. Now. This pat this pattern's got a bit of a story because it's um a yeah. pattern that it's my pattern that I use when the trout aren't biting out on the surface anymore so it's it's an emerger pattern going to be fished in the in the film or just slightly you know a couple feet down um but it tends to it it always works i always catch fish on this fish on this hook i bet you i've caught in the last couple of years probably 60 60 fish on it um and the funny part is is that this is the original I don't, can you see it? Good, you gotta hold it close to the other one. There it is. That thing has been chewed up. Yeah. Chewed up. Chewed up. And the funny part is, it still works. I had to dig through all of the hooks that I, you know, when you, like when you have a, a pattern that you've used for a bit and it's falling apart, but not quite done. It just needs a little bit of love and TLC and you can put it back together and save that tungsten bead. You well, this is, where, this is where it was. It was hidden. I had to find it and dig it out to bring out the original. Hey, I'm excited. Let's see how this thing works, man. Okay. So hey, now we, we got a good report on last week's fly, the pink belly. Deadly. It's been smoking bull trout on the upper little bit like a thief. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like it just Scotty went fishing up there, did he? Yeah, we've had a couple tours since the oh, last nice. show. Or nice. On the river. We've wrapped up the ice fishing season. And Which we is over, ramped, yeah. We were yeah. amped on getting out and doing something different than ice fishing. Yeah. Because when you're doing that five days a week, eh, eh. yeah, it's, Anyhow, a, it, it's a bit much. The fly rod has been dusted off. The boat is ready to go. We're good to go. The season's upon us. Y yes, it is. Show these folks. Okay, well, so let's take this out of here. And uh, I'm I'm here in my North Face jacket tonight because I had on a gray shirt. And if you're wondering why, it's not cold in the store. <laughs> no, it's the, the gray on gray. It's it the gray on gray, yeah. So basically... We're gonna, yeah, because you do look a little strange because you've got the puppy jacket on, puppy plus, jacket, and then I got my arms up, plus and, a yeah, plus okay. a cheek, yeah, it, it isn't cold in here, just in case you're wondering, yeah, okay, we got the AC on in the middle, right? so and this fly because it's so small, we moved the camera way away from me. Well, we tried to get you as close as we could, yes, we did. It looks like you've been cooking today, bud. You get a little too close to the Stove or? Um, that was actually a heater element. Dang it. I, I just was checking the water and I touched the heater element and it burnt me. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. So we're going to wrap our thread down. Just trying to touch threads where it turns all the way down. Have you had a chance to get out and do any fly fishing this season yet? Oh, um, yeah, I did. I caught, a, I caught a nice bull trout up on the Lillooet Valley last week on uh, on my orange bomber. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, we've been having lots of luck with orange. I, I love it. Yeah. Black colors. Yeah. Black colors. Yeah. Well, it's my. It's also my favorite. As I said, it's my favorite color for a trout lure, too, right? Orange and black. Yeah. Okay, so we get to that point, and then we're going to take our dubbing, and we're going to dub just a light body. And it's really funny, this hook seems to work better the more beat up it gets. Yeah, that other, that original one you've got there, it looks like you're about 20 fish deep on it. 
thing's been hammered. Yeah. So I want to leave that a little bit of a black tail, which is why I'm using black thread with on this. And as I said, as it the dubbing gets stripped away, it leaves the black and it seems to work. Okay. So we got that in there. Now we're going to get our pheasant tail. So how do you typically fish this? It's like an emerging, emerging pup fly, right? Yeah, I, I fish it like a dry fly. I'm fishing it pretty much exactly the same way I would fish a dry fly. On, on both streams, lakes? Have you, you fished No, it's, I've, I've only used it in the river. In the river. In the river, yeah. Some days you just want tiny little hooks, right? I've, we've been so spoiled in the, the area that we fish here in Pemberton and Worcester surrounding areas here that, man, it just doesn't seem like it really matters what you throw at them some days. They just want to get it. Yeah, this and this one is one I go to. So I'm 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 using top water patterns, and the fish are okay. I can see the fish come up. They're not taking. You know, they're looking at it and going, "Nah, not interested," and going back down. This would be the pattern I go to, and this seems to catch them, and it also seems to catch some bigger trout too. Oh, yeah. Like I'm not talking just you know 20 centimeter trout. I'm talking I've caught some, you know, 30 to 40 to 44 45 centimeter trout. You know, pound, pound and a half, two pound trout, nothing really big on it. So for American viewers, he's talking like into the 12 to 16 inch range. Yeah, 12 to 16 inches. So we're measuring out our, our wing on the back. And I wanted about half the body length past the end of the shank of the hook. Once I tie it in, I'll just sort of spread it out a little bit, eh? Spread it out a little bit. That's amazing, eh? Beautiful fly. It's simple, you know? That's the thing, and it really works, right? Like, it just catches fish. And and these fibers here, if if they're too long, you can just trim them. It really doesn't matter. They're like some of them are blunt. I'm not picking. You'll find that. And they're not all the same length, and I'm not worried about it. After a couple fish, you'll find that those will change drastically. Okay, and so then we're just going to finish with a little bit of the spiky squirrel. That just gives it that little extra buggy look. Yeah, I, you know I love this stuff, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan too. I never even heard that stuff prior to you using it. I think Boulder, he really likes it too. I mean, it stacks on there like deer hair almost, eh? Like the tips, deer hair tips. It yeah. It gets spiky. And it's funny that the brown, that the, the squirrel and natural fox, that's what this one is. Is the, is my that's my favorite color out of all the colors that I have, and I think I have like five of them. That's my favorite color so far, and it's the, by far the spikiest. Like the black is not as spiky as the uh, squirrel for sure. SLF, we love your stuff. That's great stuff. Yeah, send us some. And a little bit more dubbing. You could almost finish that off with a, a little bit of a peacock curl head, eh? That might even just give it a little more pizam. And then you put on a little whip finish, and if you wanted to. You could add a little bit more dubbing. Oh, 
or you could add not add a little bit more dubbing as I won't. And the reason I'm not is because I don't have any, but I want to put a little bit of head cement on there. Just a little bit. As I said, it's not, I'm not expecting it to stay on the top. It's going to be riding just below yeah. and that, you know, Pull up to. Let's have a look at the other side. <sighs> That's buggy. That's really buggy. That's beautiful time. So you fish that like a dry? But fish it like a dry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and you know, creating slack. If I if I want to get it a little bit deeper, I'll just create a little bit more slack. Let it go down a little bit more, right? Would you fish with a strike indicator or do you typically just go? No. Down? No. Just nymphing it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, buddy. Anyhow, let's go up to the top here. We'll sign out. That's a beautiful fly. Scotty, take it away, brother. Okay, well, Scotty Holmes with Friday Night Flies. Um yeah, it's fishing season is upon us here. I mean, it's still head in Squamish and uh, in different other places in BC. I mean, there's a million places to fish. It's the fishing for coastal cutthroats is going to start in uh, in Pemberton very, very shortly. Eh? Oh, no, the guy just came in here this morning and showed me a picture of a couple of nice steelhead from the lower sections of the Lillooet. Wow. Yeah, so that spiked my interest to make the yeah. travel down the dirt road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 that down in the at the at the narrows on the Lillooet is another great place to fish. So, you know, oh, yeah. it's it's f fishing everywhere in Pemberton. Everywhere you go, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and you got like you get all Pacific salmon yep. throughout the summer fall. Pinks here, and we get the pinks this year, which is another uh, another bonus. It's one of my favorite years is a pink salmon year because it's chaos. you can ha yeah it's chaos. You can you can have thirty to fifty fish days. You know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as it's pink. As long as it's pink, yeah. yeah. Anyhow, okay. Scotty Holmes, until next time with Friday Night Flies.